Welcome back to What's the Word podcast with Shy Boy Jimmy and Jay. This is your boy Shy Boy Jimmy. Yo, this is Jay, yo. And we'll be discussing real topics, interviewing our new artists, and speaking up about the culture. If you're trying to vibe, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for this episode. Much love. Peace. A song will transition into a skit, and when that skit starts, you can hear the previous song like right now. That's your experience. That's your life. That's what you live. So, like, can nobody take that from you? Can nobody tell you you can't tell that story? That's, I was a part of that story. You know, feel it. Yeah, welcome back to the podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in for sure. Uh, we got another topic for y'all, man. We y'all gonna talk about the errors that people be in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you grinding, like, you know what I'm saying? It's grind time. So what type of error do you call it? Like, I feel like right now, my my era right now, I've been grinding. I'm in school. I'm working. I'm doing all the shit I'm doing. It's like, it's my this era is not funny. Like, it's not no joking error. You know what I'm saying? So like when you be grinding, bro, like what do what do you you put your head down, go to the ground, get your money, do what you gotta do, have your business? What type what do you call your what do you call that error? When you just like focus on the goal? Yeah. Shit, you said they grind, man. Shit. Answer less phone calls, text people back late. But like what's the type what, you don't you don't have no error? Like you don't be like, all right, this is my I mean, my grind error. This is my no bullshit error. This is my motherfucker, like this is my motherfucker, no games being played error. Yeah. This is like you know what I'm saying? Like, this my real nigga shit era. Like, this my motherfucking, like, fuck you, bitch. This I mean, I look at it like you. So I say, like, the grind era is like, yeah, when you're definitely focused on something, it's um where you kind of, like, make sure, like, your priority is, like, the main focus, you know? Like, I uh, example, when it came to, like, uh getting ready to try to graduate for college, I was, like, real focused on that. I wasn't going to parties or nothing. Actually, I don't even think I went to a party that last semester until, like, it was supposed to be in. Mm. Um, you know, you just kind of locked in on what you're trying to do. Uh, Even th- with anything, like, if you're looking for a job, you just kind of locked in on doing that. You're not really focused on outside noise. You're not really th- focused on the fun. One, if I'm not where I need to be or I feel comfortable at, I'm turning off my phone, like, uh, theoretically, like I'm not answering people's calls like that. I'm not texting you back. Like I'm not trying to kick it all the time. I'll talk to you, communicate, become a human being. But I'm kind of just like tuning into like what I need to get done. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I won't say it's like an error because I feel like that goes up and down. You know, we all have our moments where like okay, I got to lock in a little bit harder. I got moments where I'm okay. I'm a little more relaxed. Like I say, like for me, summertime is more my relaxed time because one, it's my birthday. There's a lot more stuff going on, so I kind of take a little more chill time like i think last year i grinded in the summer a lot and i kind of didn't like it because i feel like it was out of place you know my grind season sound like that uh between like fall and winter mm-hmm. and then maybe like early spring that's why i'm like okay i'm kind of like focused on what i need to do you know versus like summertime like uh, you call me to come to a barbecue i'm gonna show up i might be a little late i might be having something else but i'm gonna show up yeah that's why i feel like that i feel that for sure because like it's like when people be having stuff they have to handle or do, and it's like they end up like turn their assignments in late, or they end up missing work, or they end up like because they out clubbing or they out acting a fool or out doing whatever they doing. It's like you're not focused. So it's like like what do you actually do to regain your focus? Like for me, like I actually I don't say I shut people out, but I actually like turn off. I do. Yeah, I I, I, like, I turn off that part of me. Like certain shit don't be funny. Certain I don't have time for certain shit to be like wasting my time to actually do that type of shit. It's like I'm really focused on the goal and trying to complete that. And then when I finish that goal, I have to knock out another goal. So I feel like that's one thing that I actually think as a man or like as a per- per- human in general, it's like you gotta actually put your grown man pants on, your grown people pants on, and handle business. I know it's like you work hard, you play hard too. You should be able to relax and huh? enjoy the fruits of your labor. But, but how can you enjoy the fruits of your labor if you're not that, out there gardening? You know what I'm saying? You have to actually put the work in the garden. You have to so, uh, weed your soil. You have to actually plant the seeds. You have to water it. You have to do what you got to do to actually get the fruits of that labor. So I think that's just one thing that I actually understand within myself now. It's like I'm in an era of like grime or I'm in an era of like actually finding peace within myself. But not wasting my time. Like, I just had, had a birthday. I'm you know, working on my master's degree. It's like certain stuff, I just don't have time for it no more. So it's like, I like, I don't know, like you said, it's not really an error, I guess you could say. That's what type of. I love how the camera just pans to me real quick. <laughs> that's what type of time I'm on. Like, that's what type of. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Steve. That's what type of time I'm on. Like, honestly, it's like, I just need 
I need all my all my interactions, all my uh, all my ducks to line up, and like it's just, like I'm not wasting no time. Like if it don't make sense, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's good. Like that makes sense. I feel like, but then one thing that I don't like about that type of mindset is like when you broke. A lot of guys be acting crazy when they break. They broke. Like they don't know how to live without being, like without. I don't know how to explain it. Like when it comes to money and finances, like if a, if a motherfucker broke, if a nigga broke, he act like that's the, like he did. Like he don't mean nothing to nobody. He don't know how to like. You are dead. No, you still got life. You still can actually do no. stuff. Like you still can actually. No, okay, bro, no, it's, no. I'm not saying like that, bro. But, some like me personally, when I'm broke, like, but I I ain't really broke. I ain't, I ain't gonna be broke. But like when I ain't got no money, it's like. Bro, I feel like I still have a sense of humor. I still have stuff. Like, I still have peace. I, 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 it's like people be dead. Like, Hold on, I'm pissed. Don't no, people be pissed. People be wanting to <laughs> fight. People be really so disrespected. People be so mad for no reason. Like, bro, it's your fault that you broke. You got to go, go put, get some money. That's like, but it's like, I know it's, it's, so why would you be happy about that? No, but it's like it's not. It's, I'm not. I'm not trying to say be happy about it. It's just the fact that like it's not the end all be all. Like money is not everything. Like no, I've like, been high. I've been low. I've been on my ass. I've been in a higher place. As I just feel like when you touch it or you know what it is or you actually have seen it or understand it, you know money come and go. But it's, I feel like certain stuff is just like not that serious. It's like no, oh no, it's like people be making it seem like money is like all you need you need character you need love you need peace like like certain family that's, members that's different than you talking about character and peace like having like sense of humor that's different than no, like, that's just i'm talking like love and like like money ain't love you, you, know get, you get love and still be broke i'm saying like i think more people have a fear if you're all right so example like it's it's certain niggas in the world who are comfortable with just being broke they are comfortable with just working a job might quit it like in three six months don't have nothing to put up no retirement no or nothing. Nothing, but yeah. it's some niggas who are used to like grinding get a baby they go to work and everybody has hard times but like if i'm having a hard time i'm not comfortable because i don't want to be like them niggas who comfortable with just okay you know i'm just living life on the edge i'm just finna go yeah so you know basically going with the flow it's more like having a fear of being in that position where i'm just stuck to like i can't make ends meet i can't do this it's not like you just don't want to live life it's like bro shit ain't really like that serious for me to just be out here just okay I'm not going outside if I ain't got no bread. Even if you invite me, I'm be I'm not going regardless. Yeah. If I ain't got no bread, but it's some niggas who they no good and damn well they ain't got twenty dollars in they say hey, what y'all trying to do tonight? Niggas, no, still got a job application, bro. Why you ask me what's happening? Tonight? That's different. Now that's different. But that's a fear yeah. of like people when you say like they have like no. I mean, I don't know once that you're saying that, but like when some people like they just don't feel comfortable with just doing whatever when they aren't. In the point they need to be at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I understand it now that you broke it down like that because I never really understood it. Because, like, like, legit, like, if I had like $20 and like the movie, like $5 on Tuesday, I probably can go, I would go watch a $5 movie on Tuesday. And then, like, people would be like, Are you, are you are irresponsible? All you have is $20. Why are you going to a $5 movie? And uh, it's like, bro, like, it's an experience. It's like I'm still trying to live my life. I'm not gonna be at home talking. So I'm broke. Like I get paid Friday or whatever. Like it's coming. Like it's a, nah, you don't. You need to say that. You need to put that in the stock market. You need to. You know what I'm saying? You could have bought a lottery ticket instead of spending you that five dollars. Don't put five dollars in the stock market. That's, 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 do not do that. <laughs> it's just certain stuff. It's like I feel like you are gonna get no return. Like, no, <laughs> and that's, that's another thing. Like data. They like if you broke, you ain't supposed to be dating. And no. I really feel like if no. I feel like broke people deserve love, bro. Like I feel like I don't know. It's just like you you not supposed to, just because I'm broke. That I mean I can't date. I can't have a girlfriend or a shorty. Or I can't have like a guy. Before I answer, what, what do you think about that? So I agree but disagree. I feel like if you broke, you really need to focus on yourself. Why like? How do you have time to focus on dating or focus on anything else besides making money to date? You first, you gotta date yourself before you can date anybody else. Ooh. That's a good one, right there. Ooh. Like if I can't, if I can't take myself out on a steak dinner, why the fuck would I expect somebody else to take? That's me? a great yeah. way to put it. I think that's true. So that do you feel like the same? Do you feel like women be the same way when it comes to like you know how men be upset when they broke no. and stuff? Do women do that too? No, because they got. I'm not a typical woman though, so. Oh, that's me. A, ooh, 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 ooh. Me personally, I'ma say yeah, because if I ain't got no money, like if I like you said, twenty dollars to my pocket. First of all, I'll never be down to my last twenty. But then again, if so, because things do happen, 
I'm not spending five dollars on a fucking movie when I could turn on Netflix because I just pay eight dollars for the month. There you go. You but that's not you think you're thinking logical with everything right. too. That's I'm not, okay, that's, I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah, be like sense, yeah. I wouldn't be like, Oh yeah, well you're not going it's a fat dollar Tuesday. I'm going to watch a fat dollar movie. Okay. The only way I would is if it's like my god babies be like, please and I just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I get paid Friday, fuck it, I got it. There you go. Okay. You know, other than that, gee, I'm not I'm that type of person, gee, y'all don't, don't talk to me if I'm broke. Don't look See, at me no. if I'm like leave I'm me the fuck alone. Way. Like, I, don't, don't I just think that's crazy. I feel like, cause why are you mad at me? Cause you broke. You hey, can't look, be crazy. No, it's, it's, it's nothing it's mad not at you. Right. But let me go back to that whole thing you said about dating when you're broke. I'm gonna say this now. So I'm a, I'm breaking down between like women and men. So I'm gonna say both should not date when they're broke, but women can get away with it more so than a man. I, and I I'm gonna say this because as a man, if if you meet a young lady on the street and you know good damn well you can't take her out to no dinner over fifty dollars, don't even even look her way, bro. Let that one pass. But now, then why not look her way? Because what if she's that same woman that can't even take her own self out? You know what I'm saying? Like that's a weird combination, right that's, there. That's that's. But as I, a man, but as a man though, as a man with your with our pride, we don't even want a woman to know that as a first impression. Right. Our first impression, we want to know like, okay, I she can do stuff to have an enjoyable time with you, take care of you potentially. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to come to the scene like, yo, I I can take you out Wednesday, but meet me on Saturday after I get paid Friday. Like, why not? See, you but, could play but, a, but men are our pride is different. We don't want to ha- we don't want to be that man because when we think like, well, shit, we tell you this it's another man. Well, shit, I'll take it out Thursday while you wait till Friday. But what's wrong with that if y'all just dating? No man wants to deal with that though. It's, I'm saying it's all pride. I know that's it's not just your, saying, that's not your girlfriend. That's not your but wife. That, that, that's y'all, still all y'all pride dating. though. What's that's, what's the problem with her? It's okay. It's not like it's a problem, but I'm saying as a man, that's our pride speaking to us. Like I don't even want this woman to know that I can't do it until that day. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's a working man. Now, a man who de- doesn't even have a job, just out here, just living life. They be the ones getting all the bitches. Yeah, I'm mean, sorry, well, that's, not bitches. They be all, they, they, they That's they, a whole nother story. They be the ones getting all the women. My point being, like, as a man, nah, we bitches, don't want to, we don't want to even come off as our first impression being that. Our first impression is supposed to be our best impression, supposedly. And even though to you, like, okay, that's still... Cool, logical. Maybe you know, your head like, okay, I don't get paid till Friday either. So shit, we both in the same boat. But us, we just don't even want to have that image. Now we've been like dating for a while. We go together. All right, that's different. Hey, yo, we go off Saturday. You know, you know, I don't get paid till then. I bet. But you just meet a motherfucker like you don't want to do that, and that's just an ego thing. You could say that's a default, but it's true. No, I agree to a certain extent. I just feel like show me who you are up front. That way I know if I give me give me that option to want to deal with you or not up front. So I will say this too. You could be creative too. So if you are broke and you do meet a motherfucker you definitely want to try to get on that with, you can be creative. But hey, you know what? How about all right, cool. Let's go hang out at uh I don't know which car. Let's say let's go walk in um what's that, Millennium Park downtown. Go see the uh thing like, with the faces on it, whatever, yeah, the bean, whatever. Game. Just go talk. That's a creative date and you can still make it work. But don't be out going out your means like, yo, I can take you here, take you there. I'll just go tomorrow. Let's wait till Friday. Now you look stupid, right? <laughs> yeah, since you ain't you yeah. get your feelings hurt fucking with me. She said, Cause if I if you if you if you say let's do this, do that, and I am like, oh, okay, cool, we better be fucking and doing it. Look. Otherwise, I'm gonna do it myself and your ass is gonna go find somebody else. <laughs> to the exactly. left, to that's, the left. That's exactly everything you point. own in the box <laughs> to the left and the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, it's so, our body. I'm not saying like a broke motherfucker can't have, enjoy life. No, but let me just say this: if you are broke for an extended period of time, at a certain point, what point do you be okay, nigga? Stop enjoying life. Get you a fucking job. And <laughs> what no, point do you say that? No, like, it's like I feel like no, because I feel like when I think about broke, I don't really be thinking about like dead broke. I be thinking like, okay, you, you in between checks, so like something like you paid all your bills and you ain't got enough money to go hang out or something like that. That's I, I be thinking like that. Well, but you then, the money coming then. I mean, yeah, like, like something like that. But then like it is an actual instance of like it be dead broke. Like you ain't got like you ain't got no job. You ain't got no hustle. You you just in the house just living off something like that's you know what dirty saying? broke. That's 
that's yeah, that's that's bummy, bro. they be like bums, yeah, they be fucked up. But I just feel like now nah, that is a different conversation. But like, if you just ain't gathered right now, you I think you're still supposed to deserve love, like everybody deserves love. But then I just feel like you just gotta lock in. So, like, that's the thing that I'm talking about right now. It's like, ain't nobody, what do you do when you lock in? Like, are you actually locking in, or are you just trying to like tr- you playing around? It depends, yeah, like right now, I'm in the era of I want to play around. Yeah. I don't I don't want to be um like in a relationship a committed relationship. You your heart girl fall, huh? Mm, no, not even that. Like I said, I just want to play around. I'm not trying to, I'm focused on myself. So yeah. I get what I need out of motherfucker and then I move around or you know, vice versa. Okay. But that's Lori, not a Lori Lightfoot. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, it's not a Lori Harvey. What the fuck is this? Oh. Lori, who the Steve Harvey daughter? You said life foot though. That is crazy. <laughs> I, I said life because we were just talking about Chicago not too long ago. So Lori Harvey. I was, hey, I ain't taking a nap today. I usually take a nap. You need to go to sleep. Yeah, I was, oh, my bad. But I, I was tired. When I said locked in, when I said locked in, I'm talking like actually with your goals and like hustling, like locked in. But exactly. then you said, yeah. I'm locked in with my. I'm That's locked, goal. I'm locked in with doing the things that I need to do for myself. But in terms of like dating or yeah. entertaining somebody because i don't i don't really date for real but why you don't date for real i'm not in that era oh lori harvey era she had her lori harvey not lori life for lori harvey era lori life for the era is crazy <laughs> but yeah like i'm locked in I, I've, <laughs> Shit. I've told you some of the things that i got that. going on mm-hmm. right now and until i get those off the ground yeah, yeah. finish I don't Completed. have time to entertain nobody for real. And that's the thing I'm thinking about. Like, you don't have time for, like, certain shit. Because, like, you playing around, wasting time with motherfuckers. It's like, why am I wasting time with you when I can be uh, handling my business and focusing on my fucking goals? It's like, it's like focusing on what I got going on and what I'm trying to complete. And get. Can, are you go, are, are you a part of the team? Are you going to help me get this shit done? Are you, oh, you just wasting time right here with us? And I don't got time. I, I, well, no Fantasia say, no time, no time, no time. I'll tell you my era. I'm in now. I'm in my grind mode where right now I kind of just decided in my head too, like I don't really want to just go out for like fun. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm kind of, I mean, it'll be fun. I enjoy shits too, but like, so like we got our shit going on, right? Uh-huh. You know, podcast, you know, also I'm trying to help my uh, cousin and all of us do a clothing line together, trying to do my own other event business and stuff. So everything I want to do, if I go outside, I want it to be beneficial towards that. I want to be able to meet somebody mm-hmm. that could either benefit me in the future or benefit me just being a supporter. So, like, right now, if you say, oh, let's go to, I don't know, let's say go to Bar Louie or something. Okay, let's see who's there. Let's map it out. I mean, we just get some food, yeah, but if we not, I'll, I'll probably ready to go home after a while. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like, me too, I feel like I'm actually... Even when I go to the mall, it's like literally for real, like literally. I said it, but it's like you actually go to the mall. I'm like, Just ban that word from your vocabulary. <laughs> networking. I'm sitting out getting people on the Instagram, so passing out business cards. I'm like trying to figure out who owns this business, who own, who the manager of this store. Can we get some from merch? Can if somehow we get a collaboration going? Or like like stuff like that, or like even like. I was just out of town the last weekend. I'm going to this place at the liquor store. I'm still, hey, what? I, I got a podcast. I do music. Like, what type of music do you like? Do you like podcasts? Hey, go on my Instagram. Hey, go to Spotify. Stuff like that. Like, networking and actually communicating. Like, on grown man shit. Like, not going out drinking every fucking weekend. Like, just outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, oh, no, it's not like wasting your time with, with your life because like at the same token we're not getting no younger yes you can enjoy yourself yes you can be free and yes you can be at peace with your homies and your brothers and stuff but like you know what I'm saying at the same token like what are you doing with your life like whether you actually what's going on like what type of growth and development not growth and development but like what type of growth have you done from like the last three years are you still in the same place and it's like i feel like if you're not growing if you're not trying to be better than what you was last year then what are you actually doing are you actually just wasting your time and just wasting like the god given talent the god given strength the god given everything that he gave you you just sitting around getting drunk every day and i was like there's nothing wrong with drinking there's nothing wrong with smoking doing drugs or whatever but it's like at the same token are you productive wait 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 hold on Let's... no no hey, I'm not no talking... wait 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 i'm Let's not that. no nah, wait hey, the galaxy gas shit hey y'all kids just have knocked that shit out but like no like i ain't trying like i ain't saying like no dope thing or like no crackhead or like no, no i'm just saying like if you smoke weed cool you, you drink cool, cool. 
speaking on your behalf. Not on my behalf. Hey, you I don't said drugs do cool. coke. I don't even no, do no, Pepsi. Okay, look, no, no, wait, 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 no. no. Uh, we gotta take that back. You on YouTube? No, you can't say that. Drugs are not cool. Drugs are not cool. I feel like no. drugs are not cool. I just feel like the thing about it's like you have to be smart about everything you're doing and actually be pr protective of, of yourself and be safe. Don't be out here doing no crazy things or doing no, no, no idiotic or immature things. Protect yourself and be safe. Rest in peace to a lot of people that passed away from overdoses for no simple for a simple reason. Hey, make sure fentanyl is out here. All this stuff getting laced. Y'all need to be safe out here and stop doing that type of stuff. You know, it's crazy though. You talking about different areas. You know, I was just thinking about this. You know, when I first moved back to Chicago was the first time I was actually like doing like clubs in Chicago. Cause like when I was doing when I lived in Champaign, so I was barely inside Chicago doing that. So I kind of gave myself a whole year to actually like be outside, like in the club, like partying and stuff like downtown, wherever North area. And all I needed was that year and I got that on my system. So I guess that was the area I was into mm -hmm. at that time. And yeah, I don't know. I guess it is some like certain areas like people gotta yeah, go through. Like, do y'all ever go through like them areas where y'all feel like when you were younger, it was like, let me get this out of my system. Like, maybe I'm a party, maybe nah, I'm a, a I, whole phase or whatever. Mm -mm. Maybe I'm a date around. I feel like the things that I was doing as a young age, I was like, I tried a lot of stuff. I was doing a lot of stuff. You didn't have but... a whole phase? Yes. So am I a whole? That's what you're trying to call I me. I said, did you have a whole phase? Do I have a whole phase? Everybody had a whole phase. Um. Yes. Say yes, yes. Yeah. So you, I was a hoe. <laughs> Why are you trying to pinpoint it, man? You know, yeah, that you, is crazy. You stuttering like you don't know. Yeah, I, I, I was, okay, I was he's single. Ashamed. He's ashamed. I, no, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> nothing I did. I don't, I don't regret nothing I did. Like I, I own up to everything I did, and I respect my my experiences. No, but I feel like you I'm not a whole phase. phase. I was, I wasn't a hoe. I was single and no, living I'm, my life. I'm not. Oh no, no, no. A whole phase not mean that you just out here just cheating, do whatever. I'm saying a whole phase is like what's a whole phase? You just out here just. Enjoying, it. enjoying like dating, you yeah, fucking was, on motherfuckers without no strings attached. Like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, you, but I wasn't a hoe, okay. All right, what's a hoe? Define a hoe. I didn't call you a hoe, I said a whole phase. Oh, okay. yeah, different now. A hoe is uh, that's a whole different story, but did you have a whole phase? <laughs> I think everybody had a whole phase, and yes, I yeah. had my whole phase. I think, yeah, to be honest, yeah, I'm sorry to pay, play around or whatever, but like, yeah. I had a whole phase, yeah. <laughs> you trying to incriminate yourself. Yeah, because like, you trying to, hey, don't be trying to play around. I, I, didn't, time. I didn't say anything. Nah, I didn't ask for no fucking... certain dates or nothing. He I just said, said, I don't whoop. Phase. I whoops. But look, some people's whole phase is loud. Some people's whole phase is silent. Some people uh, some people be whoops. outside in public where you just know, like, like you know, everybody got that one family that always bring a new girlfriend to the family gathering. Oh, every. Yeah. And some people got somebody like, yo, you never with somebody, but the whole time they behind closed doors catching bodies. <laughs> I'm going to say, there's a silent whole phase and there's a loud one, you know. Mm. We all know people had loud. We know people had silent. Oh, had sound. A sound whole, whole phase. A or uh, alliance. Alliance whole alliance. phase. What does that mean? <laughs> loud and private. <laughs> oh, a loud and yeah. I mean, you could have one of those too, you know. But yeah, I feel like every everybody got different errors that they in right now, and I feel like you just gotta attack it and handle it the way you need to handle it. Like everybody in that quiet, they quiet girl affair uh, phase, they quiet girl era, they uh, soft boy era, they black boy joy era, they black match girl magic era, they hustle era, they sleepy era. Well, yeah, what's they, a soft boy era? What the fuck is that? That's on TikTok. They basically like. Uh, so people like work at home. They clean up their apartment. They cook. They play with the dog. That's soft boy era. I don't know. It don't make sense to me. I feel like that's just regular stuff that we do what every the day. Fuck is but that? They, they say it's soft. It's called and you, you and your soft boy era. Like you don't, you ain't got time for all that. So stuff. when you just take care of regular life, I guess so. I don't know. So everything else is just hardcore. They say like every, everything be gangster, but you know them, them uh, YT people be always calling everything gangster or ghetto. So you never know. I didn't think cooking for yourself was a soft thing. But Just like when they did the hygiene, we did. They said that that was gay. And he wife. No, said, no, no. They saying because that dude was gay. He they said he was saying square up your feet, wash your feet every day, and everybody. Like, oh, had a tongue scrubber. oh my god, that's he gay. Had a, no, he had a professional tongue scrubber. He he brushed. I said his, professional. His, a fucking his, machine. His tongue. He had he he the, the thing you scrape your tongue with. He said use mouthwash every day, brush your teeth. And they basically said his, that might be a little gay. Cause you brush your teeth every day? No, the tongue scrubber. 
Uh, the one he has. <laughs> you gotta use that bitch. Hey, you gotta use that bitch two hands, put it back in your throat. And... He he was playing, <laughs> but like he that, was homosexual. <laughs> he he has a homosexual man, but it's like I feel like that was just stupid because like I feel like a lot of man was upset because like they he like who why are you washing your feet every day like you just wash it when you are in the shower the water just get up no you are supposed to get the soap and water I know. So get the, on that the, motherfucker the feet, is, the feet is cool bro I'm still stuck on the tongue scrubber that was just wild I was like I haven't even so seen you all, you all scrub your tongue when you brush your teeth nigga he has a, a tool just for that okay but the toothbrush <laughs> you use the toothbrush to scrub your tongue yes but I don't have a thing that okay. I put in the back of my fucking throat with two hands and pull out with Okay, yeah, that's different. It's different. But that's the, different. The bottom line is, it's, it's different eras. So it's like you gotta adapt and tap that's into the different era. That's one I'm never going to. <laughs> you don't even wash your ass. That's probably why. You be mad the, as fuck to get in the jacuzzi because you gotta get wet. I'm not getting a thing with two hands and putting the back of my throat and scrub my tongue. Oh my god. I'm Gucci. <laughs> you don't want to put. Oh, never. I didn't go say that joke. No, not at all. Uh, it don't matter what type of joke you're trying to. Nah, it's <laughs> anything you gotta deal with that no nah, like okay Tia, would you use a, a a professional i mean a uh tongue scrubber so i was gonna say i was gonna say the new thing that's out um the flosser the water flosser oh it well, has that's a, a, that was it has about a the tongue dentist, scraper though. too so that yes but no you gotta see whatever you just that right that's why i said i'm glad I you didn't gotta put it. that bitch like right this up. like there you go. Oh no, that look a little dangerous. Anyway, I mean, I brush my teeth often, so my tongue won't be that nasty that I would need to use a tool like that. So no. Yeah. Wonder what you got in them. You know. Hey, I don't even want to know. I'm that. saying no, cause like. <laughs> no, it was. Let, let it go. Let it go. We we are a PG we network. No, we not. That's we so not. Bad. I'm really not. We not. That we nigga not. putting that shit in the bag of throat, cause. <laughs> hey, cause what? Mind your business. I, it's not my business. I'm just saying. Mind your business that pays you. Look, you don't, you don't have one of them things. <laughs> you just, yeah, you just, like if you can't really. Mind your business that pays you. <laughs> you. You with your toothbrush. You with your toothbrush. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh. do the list ring, whatever. I'm pretty sure that dude could. <laughs> James, that's so funny. That tickled with your soul, didn't it? That's it. A man brushing his tongue, tickled with your, tickled your soul. <laughs> no, it was. It, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Let it go. Move on. Let's move on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But no, um, yeah. Anyway, the errors that we're in right now. What's what error you say you in right now? I don't know what I'm, what I just say. You just forgot already. I didn't name you it. Lying. Man. I didn't name it at all though. So. Name it. Put a name on it. Just put a snap on it. Put it on the table. I go. The error I am in right now is Yo Diddy error. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Somebody come cut his mic. Somebody come get this man right now. Hey, <laughs> come get this man right now. Somebody cut cut this mic off right now. Somebody, <laughs> like, if I'm in my Diddy era, uh, never mind. I'm gonna say it. Never I'm mind. in nobody era. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Let me <laughs> let me just be cool, cause you're being disrespectful. I'm gonna. Hey, you hey, tell the truth. Y'all went to Diddy parties back then. You trying to say? Cause like they try to make it seem like every party that man did was just like a crazy freak off or something. Like like they he had actual like nice parties like people for birthdays look, and stuff like it was a lot of people. We know what they're talking about. Would y'all be the Diddy parties? Not them parties, but like the all white parties and stuff like with Aretha Franklin know, and Mariah we, Carey and all stuff. Do we know that these these are real parties? My thing is like, gee, it's Diddy. Motherfuckers was probably thirsty to be around him for his money. They was. Right. Okay. So therefore, that, that, that falls on you. No, like, certain not stuff on, like with the drug and all, like the sex trafficking and all the crazy like, stuff. Like you motherfuckers go to the club and get drugged every day. Like, it's not a... No, uh, he said she's saying like most of them were going there knowing like oh, I'm finna get exactly you know. like so you think that a lot of people's coming and coming in like okay we finna get fucked by did nah, no no like, she... you going to you going to a party prime example I first started drinking we always was taught never sit your cup down yeah some why people the fuck ain't you never going into a party why the fuck you going into a party drinking anything I'm bringing my own shit mm -hmm. I know what's in this shit if if it's some I'm opening, I'm cracking the seal off this motherfucker. And uh, ain't nobody touching it. Therefore, I know I cannot be drugged. And yeah, everybody, like, uh, everybody don't know, know that, though. So that's, I don't know. We don't know that whole uh, situation, like what occurred and everything. Well, uh, if the case ain't even started yet. But it's, uh, I feel like just 
Hey, leave that man alone. Uh, people was people if going he did, to the party. Well, if he, if he did that shit, like, everything they say he did, like all the shit he did to Cash, all the shit he did to and whoever the fuck else. We don't know yeah. what the fuck. Hey, we don't that know. One, we don't that know. That so, one little video that came out, we don't know what the fuck she did to him in that hotel. Nah, room. for him to beat her ass like that in the in a towel. Be, prime example. Everybody was on Chris Brown, and I and we just talked about this the other day, Jeremy. Everybody was on Chris Brown ass <laughs> about the fact that he hit Rihanna. But then she came out with a statement saying, "No, I hit him first. Like, mm. but then that's the not fuck? the statement that Cassie made. So I feel like it's two different scenarios. It's like I don't know. I feel like but I'm saying we my my example. So the reason why I brought that up is because we don't know what his trigger was. He she probably so, was provoking him in a way like you know sometimes the wrong words or the wrong facial I mean, expression yeah. could trigger a motherfucker. So yeah, we, don't we don't know what the fuck. We don't know all the details. I do think he. I think he did some weird shit. Besides that situation, like all the other shit that was like coming up, yeah. But I, I don't think that everybody who attended Diddy's events were just down what he was doing or knew what he was doing. Like people came there, like you said, just to party. Like imagine you go to a party, you see Mariah Carey, you see Jay Z, you see NBA, NFL players, you see famous actors, actresses, and stuff. You and they're having a good time. You're not thinking like. This kind of a little freaky to, to a little bit too freaky. But then my thing too with that is speak on it then, don't speak on it now. You should have spoke up then. I mean, we y'all so. grown as hell. Regardless of what happened, speak on that shit. Like I, I'm, I'm one who I voice my opinion very, very well. I don't give a fuck about the next person's opinion. Y'all grown as hell. Y'all let the y'all at a party. You see some shit is off. This if it's weird to you now, it must have been weird to you then. You should have spoke on it. No, I agree with that part. Like, I feel like if I say some shit back then, I would have said some shit. Like, I feel like if I would have saw some motherfucker getting drugged or something, like something, something. If I would have saw something that was fucked up or whatever, like a lot of people might be afraid that like he got the power and all that stuff. But I feel like I would have been said something. I would have been like even like with like everybody that's going like everybody that's coming out now about like everybody that's in the industry that's doing crazy stuff that's, that was doing stuff in the 90s and stuff i feel like i if i seen something and if my homeboy was out here drugging bitches and raping them you think i'm gonna be their homeboy like i'm not gonna be their friend i'm gonna just send their ass to jail like beat their ass like let, let it be known like hey buddy over here tweaking like i said what the fuck like what you doing bro like put your foot in their ass and like show them what the fuck but a lot of them actually let this shit slide so i do agree with that because like if you see something say something that's even like Ooh, on the bus yeah, it's like it's, it's a lot of y'all out there that know what happened at these parties and know what happened with all the shit that's going on in the industry. But anybody said nothing, they trying to say they ass and they trying to say they face and stuff. But I just feel like this that's like really like if you know what happened, you know what's going on, y'all should put put that shit nip that shit in the bud. It should not have took twenty years for this shit to come out and it's like, i feel like that's just cr crazy and it's like a lot of people just be trying to be quiet because they be scared of like retaliation or they don't want to die like they don't want like, there's a lot of stuff that can happen to them yeah but i feel like as a real nigga or, like a real person you know what i'm saying you have to actually understand your moral compass and like what the fuck but it's like a lot of people do be scared to actually say something so like you can't really fault them but it's like damn like what the fuck bro like you couldn't say you couldn't say something no yeah that's what i said there's so many people around Nobody said nothing really until just like the last few years. And then like I said too, again, there's a lot of people who didn't actually know what was going on either. So is Diddy innocent? Hell no. He got some shit going on for sure. Is everything that's coming out, uh, him being guilty? I don't know. It's hard to say. Now the the <laughs> the freaky shit he got going on with like them thousand bottles of baby was just crazy wild. Yeah, I just don't why understand they didn't that. Find it. Why they didn't find it when they searched his house before? They did. They found him. They just said that. They just brought up to the public uh, everything that they found in the house. Where the hell do you keep a thousand bottles of baby oil? In his freak room where they was having the freak offs. I'm trying to pitch And it's bro. crazy. The police actually said freak offs. But it's, like, it's just like, okay, I don't know. It's just, that's not the era I'm in. This nigga had I'm a 50 man. foot bed. In the backyard. It's like he had two beds on a basketball court. Bro, why are you laughing? That shit ain't funny, nigga. Like, that's what some the fuck? freaky shit. Is, 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 it free, is it freaky or is it? Because he tired and he wants to go take a nap in the backyard. I got the money to do it. I got the money to do it, so I'm going to do it. I mean, yeah, you got the money to do it, but it's just like a. No, that's some crazy. Like, that's some wild what? shit. Why would you have a bed in, a in a wall or the basketball court? Because yeah. he, he, he played basketball and then he get tired and he want to go lay down. Okay. He's not sleeping in that bed. <laughs> yeah, but is that's that, probably is that, not, uh, is that not like that's a, probably the lo that's probably the logical explanation, I mean, but we don't know what the fuck was going on in that basketball court. So, 
You oh, know, we don't. We wasn't there, so we don't know. But it's like it's some some crazy shit for that's sure. That's a weird fetish though. Like, you can be a bitch everywhere, bro. Like you just ready all times, huh? Like, Take taking a nap he, everywhere. We was just talking about j- him starting a fucking uh OnlyFans foot page. If oh. foot fetishes is real, like <laughs> that is certain true. Fetishes is real. So a bed, he got a bed fetish. Maybe he has a freaky fetish. It, uh, first of all, he's maybe Scorpio. like <laughs> he, you know what he pees say? on people. Who peed? He peed on Young Miami. She let him. Let's get past at this. this grown, let's, <laughs> let's, at this grown let's get past age, this. Let somebody, like, you just let's get past this. Let let's get past this. Let's get the era that I'm in right now. <laughs> No diddy, is, the edit era that I'm in right now is get this shit done. No, no excuses. I don't know if that's a real era or like whatever, but that's the era I'm in right now. Get this shit done. No excuses. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. What? But that's funny because like no diddy was in, getting a place replaced for something else, and it's like no, no diddy. It's like it should be considered like no sexual assault, no abuse, no. Like, so it's like, uh, but uh, his legacy is like you know what I'm saying, bad boy and all that stuff. But it's like you know what I'm saying, like hey, let's just. <laughs> they said. A nigga named Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy trying to sign you to a label called Bad Boys. That should have told you the first thing. You Puff just Daddy. tickling your spirit. Like you really... The shit was online. What you oh mean? We're this... we supposed to just be like, oh, look at all these memes. Like, oh, this shit. I don't know. That's, I just don't find that the Diddy jokes funny, though. It's just like, it's not funny to me. Like, I don't know. Because you're not in your funny era. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You take your shit too serious. A, a nigga named Puff Daddy trying to sign you to a label called Bad Boys. It's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, I just I'm not in a, I guess I'm not in a jokey batter or something. I don't know. But shout out to all the Virgos. But whatever are you in right now? Um, I'm in my Lori Harvey leave me the fuck alone era. Mm. Like just Close leave me enough. alone. Be cool. Leave me the fuck alone era. Come on, Jay. What what era is this? Uh, dark skin era. I don't know. Dark skin, dirty ass nigga era. Cause you don't know how to wash your ass, cause you scared to brush your tongue when you brush your teeth. No, not I'm just not putting a fucking piece of metal in the back of my fucking throat to oh scrub my, my tongue. You put a metal in the back of your throat. Did you see that thing, bro? What, what, you, what you think that's going? We think that's just doing a tip. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he thought that's just doing a tip. He was... <laughs> Hey yo, pause, bro. Hey, get this man off the air. Get this, cut this man, Mike. Look at this. Cut this man, Mike. Something is wrong with him. That's about a good. Something is wrong with him. That's about six, good six inches of metal. Oh my goodness, he he need help, y'all. You are now watching Mad TV. Yeah, Mad. I do want to ask something else, though, bro. If I if that's dirty, then fuck it. I'll be dirty. I ain't gotta use that. Hey, that's that. You gonna stink like that dude off the peanuts? What? With no ants, with no, with no flies flying around his head and stuff. I'm confused. What you're talking about? Oh my god! Oh, you talking about uh, the pe? No, you meant the fucking Charlie uh, Brown. Oh, you meant that penis? Oh, oh, the, I thought you meant uh, what's that TV show with uh the peanuts? PJ's, PJ's, and that that, uh, that dirty ass dude. You talking pe- about pig pen? Yeah, yeah. That's nah. that's you. Nah. <laughs> Damn near token though. <laughs> ah, that's you. Well, all right, for sure. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you want to ask something? Okay. Yo, Late. Minus. Guess what? Let's bust this news down to these uh, viewers. You know what I'm saying about the. Okay. Hey, we was once called What's the Word Podcast with Shop Boy Jimmy and Jay. We would now be known as One to One Podcast with Shop Boy Jimmy, Brenda, and Jay. So stay on the lookout for the name change and all the things that y'all need with more information coming. For sure. You want to put your Instagram out again for me? Locks and knots. <laughs> yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> she said I'm over it. <laughs> uh, she, she's sleepy. She ain't taking a nap today. What about you? Want to put your Instagram out? Do they know who you are? Everybody know me. Cap J. Cap J. And I'm Shy Boy Jimmy. That's One to One Podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in. Fuck with us. You Follow know, us. Fun fact, you just type in Cap J, my name will pop up. I don't even gotta tell you like the underscores or nothing. It just pops up. Yeah, so and I'm Shy Boy Jimmy. You can find me and pop me up. All right. Not pop, pop me up. up. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna pop up. Somebody get August out out of here. I'll get, hey s- s- slow down. He can sing. That's my boy. He st- he still got the vocals. Sing. Who can't sing? Cause he who <clears throat> 
This is him and his nah. light skin era. That's your era. Light skin light, era. Light skin era. Shout out to the light skins. We the best. But for sure, that's uh one to one podcast with Shot Boy Jimmy Brother. Zoom in on that. Make sure <laughs> make sure y'all like uh, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, man. Make sure y'all figure out what area y'all is in and make sure y'all stick to it. You know what I'm saying? One love, be safe, love each other. No peace. Diddy. No. Hey yo, if you vibe with us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're here every week dropping knowledge, interviewing new artists, and speaking up about the culture. Catch us on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts to never miss an episode. And make sure to keep the conversation going via thoughts and comments in the comment section. And hit us up on social media at WTW Jimmy and Jay. Stay blessed, stay 100, and we'll catch you next time on What's the Word Podcast with Jimmy and Jay. Peace.